Uh, good morning, people. I just uh, had a long night just uh, looking for lizards, and uh, what can I say? I made a couple friends. We've we've got we've got Stephen right here from Homestead. He's got a little bit of a skin issue, but we're gonna moisturize him, and he's good. We got Sabrina. Just kidding. That's 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 Marcus, but he's a Sabrina now. And we're okay with that. And then we've got this handsome fellow, my new BFF, Mister. Urban Ranch, don't look at my boogers. Mr. Urban Ranch Rescue. How many hours of sleep are we on right now? Five for three days. <laughs> I'm on three and a half. <laughs> Driving you around. Oh, take, take one of those handsome men. That uh, We're certainly not handsome men after that late night. Look at me. I look like I, I live under a highway. Nothing wrong with that. But uh, I've been dedicated to find these lizards for Ben. I want him to have the best time ever. I, I, I climbed a couple really tall trees to get these scaly boys. Hey, I found this little chameleon all by myself. And this is me climbing a tree. This is me climbing a tree by, uh, by myself. I'm Uncle Ben. How's it going? This, see, it's me. This is me climbing this tree. That's me climbing the tree. I'm doing it by myself without any help at all. And I'm going to catch this chameleon by myself. Yay! Look at this little man. Oh, wow. Cute. Very cute. Wow, that is a beautiful, Bro. beautiful animal. Aren't look they amazing when they're sleeping? Oh, I caught it. Insane. I caught it myself. Good I job. caught it. Oh, look, he's missing a chunk of tail, too. Really? He's going to bite me. I caught him Dude, myself. Beautiful. I caught him myself without any help. Good job, Ben. Good job. I caught him all by myself, you guys. I caught him myself. <laughs> Would it hurt if he, like. Here, let's see. Here you go. Just let him crawl on you. He'll get comfortable. But he's really cold. He might fall. Let's, Let's bring them in the thing. Oh, also Yo, we got we got Wendy's, you guys. Oh, Wendy's. Mm. 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 Wendy's. Mm. 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 But uh, I've been dedicated to find these lizards for Ben. I want him to have the best time ever. I, I I climbed a couple really tall trees to get these scaly boys. So he has some new pets in Texas. What are you gonna name this guy? I don't know, but we really slept in a car last night with three lizards, and and empanadas. How'd you like that chicken empanada, Mr. Ben? You got beautiful ass, Mr. Ben. Come on, Ben. We need to. We need to go get some Starbucks. Come on. I know you only have three. Come. Hey, get out of my truck. Get out of my truck. Let's get Starbucks. You gonna make me put my empanadas down? Yeah. You like when a YouTuber you just even, comes and puts a camera in your face? Hey, I, say something for my YouTube. I don't even like this anymore. Yeah, people come. <laughs> say, say something for my YouTube. Say please. something for my YouTube. I need give a sound. Yeah. Say something crazy for the trailer. Sub, sub, sub. We're funny. We're funny. We're funny. Give me, give me money. Give me, give me two hundred dollars right now. Give me two hundred dollars. Patreon, please. Oh no, it's okay. You can take a photo. I know this cowboy hat's really dope, right? It's real, right? Oh, these glasses? Yes, they're real. I got them at Bass Pro Shop. They're pretty sick. I can see right through the water. And this is a this one's this cowboy hats from an, an Australian gas station. They're called servos. Oh, you mean the oh, you mean the this the chameleon. Hey, what are you doing? Where, where's the airboat? Shake, 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 shake. Hey, how's it going, man? Any pants? Oh my God, dude, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we were just having a meeting about oh, our locations for snakes and whatnot. We're just getting everything organized, nothing yep. to do with that bag of leaves. And uh, <laughs> right here, we just noticed that there's a dead, dried up corn snake that I guess a bird killed and it didn't finish. Look at that. Good Poor eye. little dude is dried up. I'm gonna leave him right there as a Everglades ornament because that's nature. What do you think, G? Very nice. Very nice. Wow, wow. Look at this random chair here in the middle of nowhere for somebody to. Oh, oh, that makes sense. I'm gonna go some. Oh, there's toilet. That's a lot of toilet paper. This is all toilet paper. It's all making sense now. It's a trail of toilet paper. Oh my god, let me get. Oh, oh dude, he's handsome. Dude, he's beautiful. Look at that beautiful head. Dude. Nice. Tyler just flipped this door right here on this island. He's such a handsome fella. Yeah. He's found this beautiful. We're gonna name him name him tripod because he only has three arms. Oh my god, look at oh, his little baby. Ah! Baby, sir. He's so pretty. 
That's not very nice. We just met. They're, they're like definitely not venomous. Definitely not. Uh, Red uh, colors uh, don't mean uh, venomous. I feel sick. Uh, <laughs> baby, can you grab the pistol? Oh, please, please. Where's Benjamin? Stuck? Are you stuck right now? I broke off. Whatever. And we found this crazy red skink. Never found this species before. Look how cool he is. Look, look at that face. Super red. So interesting. What's up, dude? Oh, what are you gonna do? You gonna butt? You gonna just butt me? Oh, oh. Good thing he can't get a hold of my nose. My my nostrils are. Oh, oh. You know the thing about wildlife is. It's always about getting up close and personal and now i can i don't know much about the skink but now i know about his jaw pressure and that tells me what kind of food he's eating see it's all about learning through experience kids get a foot in the door go out to the everglades when your friends say let's go on a sunday i just want to give you a kiss steven, mm. ah, steven! stop biting me steven behave oh steven what is going on beautiful people i'm currently hanging outside at the property this is Barra's memorial. Uh, so if you guys don't follow me on Instagram or you didn't see the community post on YouTube, Barra was struck by a car on March 15th, about over a week ago. And uh, yeah, she, she went off early in the morning, left the property, went further than she usually goes. She went to a main busy road nearby and she got hit by a car and she was, uh, she was killed instantly. So uh, local, Animal control picked her up and they called me and they brought her here and I buried her right here by the lake because this is This was her favorite spot to hang out. She loved to go swimming in here and This is where she should rest. So This is her her burial and It, it really sucks to share this. I'm making this video purely because you guys loved her so much. I loved her so much and I still love her to death uh, I It sucks. It, it really sucks um, I'm gonna put a little memorial together for her so you guys can enjoy some of her clips and whatnot from over the past year It's just it's crazy. Literally. I got her on March 15th and she passed away on March 15th I it's it's just so weird It's so weird. It's it's sad. I, I love her to death and I, I, I would I would take a black mamba bite just to have her back I know a lot of you guys would probably say you're crazy Chandler, but no that that was the closest thing I had to having a kid. Hey, you enjoying your puppuccino? <laughs> you enjoying? Oh my god. Alright, let me get that. Good girl.
Russia to my backyard. Yeah. appreciate you guys understanding me not posting for the past week but it's just been rough man it's been rough I took the time to leave the property go look for crocodiles in South Florida to get my mind off things and made me feel better for sure but when I come back to this property all that it reminds me of is this dog and she's sad man so I love you guys I really appreciate you guys there's gonna be some more clips later in this video from later on I have one more clip I want to show you guys. This is the last clip of Bera before she passed away the next morning. This is the night before she passed. Man, she was such a good dog. What are you doing, Bera? She was such a loving, goofy animal. I loved her so much. And no dog's ever going to replace her. And I don't I don't know if I'm ever going to get a dog again. Because I never wanted to get a dog, honestly. I was never supposed to get one. When I moved here, there were so many people who were upset that I bought this property. And I lived near them because I own all these dangerous animals. And they thought of me as a child. And they threatened to shoot my animals if they saw them. So that's why I got a guard dog. And uh, just to clear things up, make this perfectly clear she was hit on a main road that's busy as hell with random people coming through my neighbors did not intentionally hit my dog i know some of you guys might think that but i highly doubt it most of the neighbors that live immediately around me love bera they love the hell out of her they would let bera hang out on their property all day hang out with their dogs hang out with their families so bera was loved by everyone around here so don't think for one second that somebody maliciously hit her it was it was most likely an accident she was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Really thankful that I have good friends like Tyler Nolan and all these people who came and kept me company while I was bawling my eyes out, drinking whiskey. But uh, yeah, big, big shout out to Urban Ranch Rescue. He came and hung out and he just so happened to be here when uh, right before she passed and then the day she passed he had to come through and stop by because he's staying over here and he's one of my favorite youtubers and he's such a funny guy he was catching paku out of my lake uh the day she passed and it was just entertaining as hell to watch this guy he's so funny so enjoy these little clips of him catching paku and whatnot and go check out his channel because he's going to be posting some episodes this week and next week and there's going to be some of bera's greatest final moments hanging out with Ben screwing with him and trying to save me from drowning in my lake so you guys know how she was she was she was awesome I love you guys I'll see you in the next clip I got, I got him cornered bro oh frick he's oh he's leaving he's leaving. <laughs> he's going oh oh, oh! oh! This one's going on my fish brain at Bloody Thumb Ben. Check I'll pull these, out. pull these down a little bit. <clears throat> Been showing a lot of thigh lately. I guess we have to catch the other one now. <laughs> 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 uh, 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 uh. This right. cured my depression. This cured my, this this gave me depression. All right, let's go ahead and put this little baby back. In. Oh, wow. I'm gonna swim them out. Okay. I'm gonna swim them out like those guys are doing. Oh, 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 oh. my oh. testes. Get your back, get your back. Oh, where'd he go? We have to catch him again. We, guys, guys, I'm panicking. My depression is coming back. It's coming back. Oh. What is going on, beautiful people? I'm just enjoying my Sunday, laying down by the dock. I've got my new, my new house guest. This little alligator. He's like four feet long. Pretty cool. He just moved on in. I woke up this morning. I walked outside. I was like, is that an alligator? See the birds flying around that's a kingfisher that flew by see him i love this property look at that beautiful kingfisher flying by it's kind of like a little kookaburro here in america so we have this alligator he's living here 
got bald eagles that come through. We have a family of owls that live on the property, not including Bagoy. And now we have an alligator. I think that's pretty cool. Here in the state of Florida, it's not illegal for me to have this alligator in this pond because he went by himself. But the second I have to fence up my property for my animals, then technically that could be capturing or enclosing an alligator from being wild. So I can't do that. So once my perimeter fence goes up, hopefully he leaves and goes to another body of water. If not, then I'll have to ask my officer to get a trapper out here and relocate this gator. Good thing is if he's under four feet, he can be relocated. If he's over four feet, he can't be relocated. He has to go to a facility or he gets put down. So we'll see what happens. I'm a licensed facility, so if it comes down to that, maybe my officer or the trapper will just let me have the alligator. Look, he's just hanging out, doing his thing. I think it's so funny. There was never an alligator. Let me get up. There was never an alligator out here. The whole year that I lived here, <laughs> that kingfish was going crazy. And then all of a sudden, this guy appears seven days after Bear's passing. It's so strange. You would have thought an alligator would have come months ago. Like he's just chilling. He thought he was being sneaky a second ago. I was laying down and he started swimming up from behind me. I guess he thought my molt was like a beaver or a big rat. <laughs> well, he's just doing his thing. Cool little alligator. Nice little friend to have here at the park. We'll see what happens. I have my inspection tomorrow for one of my permits and I'll just show my officer and see what he says. What are you doing, gator? The Paku are interested. The Paku keeps circling this alligator as he swims around. And it's making me think, you know, I want to leave this pond for flying Bagoy over and I want to keep it full of beautiful native and tropical fish. But what do you guys think? Do you guys think I should put like a, I don't know, like a five foot fence around the, the edge of the grass and the driveway going around the grass, go around the pond and maybe fence it in for Ziggy or a little alligator or something? I don't know. I, I intended for this just to be for Bagoy to fly over and for these fish and for guests to walk up and be able to feed the fish. But, you know, even if there is a little alligator or crocodile, the guests can still feed that animal if there's a protective barrier and it's under four feet. So that's something that I could do. Who knows? Because I got the stock right here. The stock could be, we could put some rails on it. We could put a little pathway from the driveway to the dock so guests can enjoy the pond too. Comment below, let me know what you guys think. Because, you know, originally... I really wanted to put gators and crocs in this pond, but I decided to leave it alone and just have it be a, a nice feature full of fish and for Bagoy to fly. How you doing, Bagoy? You doing good? Beautiful boy. Oh yeah, I love you, Bagoy. And another thing, uh, I'm looking for a baby camel. Something that happened before Barrett passed away, the past couple weeks before that happened I had been talking about how I wanted to get another dog for Barry to play with when the fence goes up and I decided instead of getting another dog get a baby camel to raise up because camels are like big horses you know and I thought it'd be really cool it's right up my alley to get a, a nice dromedary camel brown dromedary camel raise it up from a baby bottle fed and make it my buddy and make it like a big dog and since Barrett passed, I, I still honestly, I, I, I really do think I still want to get this camel and I feel like I should do it. It'd be like a nice animal to bond with and raise up. And it's just nice to have, you know, at least like one mammal here. I literally, I live here by myself, you know. I, <laughs> Barrett was my best friend when I lived here for the past year and, or me living here this past year. She's just been here for me and throughout all the craziness. I've got great friends that will visit me here and there, but at the end of the day, I'm just out here on my own, taking care of all my reptiles and making videos every week. And it, it's just nice to have a big fluffy mammal to play with. So I am looking for a baby dromedary camel. If you guys are breeders out there here in the US and you have babies available, let me know. I'd love to get a young, probably a male baby dromedary camel bottle fed so I can bond with it and eventually train it so I can ride it around the property and, uh, and open the gates to the guests on a big camel. I think that'll be awesome. So if you guys know any camel breeders out there, or if you're a breeder yourself and you know, you know, if you have any available, hit me up on Instagram or email me. It's Chandler Kamenish at AOL.com. I'd really appreciate it. And even if you got a baby and it's a decent price and it's, and it's somewhere in a local state, you know, within, <laughs> within a day drive, I'll go drive and pick it up. So let me know. I'll come make a video, check out your camels. <laughs> Anyways, I love y'all. Thank you so much for supporting my wildlife. I'll see you on the next one. We're gonna keep grinding out this week. Into boys feathers. And don't ever forget, follow your passion. Stick to what you guys love. That's all that matters. Love you guys. What are you doing, Bear?